Raiders attached to the explosive are connected to a complex fire device that can fire every detonator simultaneously. When all the explosives not a single detonator be fired accidentally, whether by malfunction, crash impact, or fire. The explosive would not provide the all-around compression necessary for inflation in strife of nuclear weapon as its own safeguards against accidental nuclear explosion. These are the facts. And they are based upon practice as well as theory. Specially instrumented aircraft fly the test and verify what happens, man the test range, and evaluate the findings of the elaborate instrumentation. Measure impact characteristics of various weapons. They are made without nuclear components, so that the precious material is not wasted. Weapon tests are run on a hazard of fire. These are subjected to a flame bath of burning fuel. Fire and the material of a new weapon is deliberately detonated. They record only an ordinary explosive blast. A random detonation has not created the implosion deliberately fired, but what does? It should not be inhaled or otherwise taken into the body in quantity. That is why the trained monitoring and cleanup crews may wear respirators until air samplers or alpha counters have determined that no injurious concentration exists. Rail is harmless when on the ground. Only simple cleanup measures are necessary, plus an effort to find and save the valuable material involved. These are the facts. Facts that have dispelled the fearsome myths about accidents involving nuclear weapons. Bystanders endanger themselves and hamper others. To be safe, keep at least a quarter of a mile away from any burning airplane. At this distance, stay away from the flames, which may explode the jet fuel, from detonating explosives to the real dangers in rescue or firefighting, as they have always been. The trained men who bear these responsibilities know how to do their job and get quickly away from all these hazards. <laughs>